so the patient presents with a convulsion one episode eight days back and patient is unconscious since today there is no history of diabetes hypertension and no other surgical history or otherwise so the convulsion point towards the cortical etiology now let's look at the CT scan of this patient what we see here is left occipital hyperdensity going towards the temporal lobe medial side most likely into left PCA territory in fact and one on the right side actually in the right frontal region and also involving the uh, temporal operculum and frontal operculums and most likely parietal operculum as well so this is most likely a uh, right MCA ter 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 territory in fact the difference between two in fact is this is more hyperdense uh, I have taken HU for you guys so look at it 12 10 something like that and this one is relatively more hyperdense uh, compared to this so it is less hyperdense it is 20 26 something like that so this one is more likely a subacute infarct while this one is a chronic infarct and in chronic infarct the infarcted tissue is either liquefied or replaced by the oligodendrocytes and that's the reason that that can become epileptogenic that it can cause convulsions and all that explains our case so keep that in mind and because the acute infarct is not really uh, hypodense it can be actually missed on CT and that's why we'll have to rely on the indirect signs like MCA dense sign or uh, cortical insular cortex sign something like that it is not visible on this case because both of them are not really chronic and even on MRI sometimes things can be only visible on diffusion weighted imaging and not on flare or T2 that that is actually a good sign that means uh, the signal change is only restricted to diffusion weighted imaging and it's really you have caught it in acute stage and you can treat the patient with thrombolysis or mechanical thrombectomy depending on whatever what kind of uh, availability of materials and speciality in your region so and because of the down criteria and all the mechanical thrombectomy time has been increased to 24 hours so that's also a good thing now let's look at other cases